represented by Armenak Apram Hamian. You have the floor. Bonjour, Madame la Présidente. Marie-Louise. Good afternoon, Madam Chair. My name is Armenak Hamian. It is my honor to be the President of the Council of Western Armenians. We wish to bring to your attention the the war which was launched in 2020 by the armed forces of the of Turkey and Azerbaijan against the indigenous people of Armenia living on their ancestral lands for over 10,000 years. This war, which took place during the 100th anniversary of the Sevres Peace Treaty, following the recognition of the de facto Western Armenia, uh, the country, on the 11th of uh, uh, May, which targeted the Republic of Artsakh, ended up with uh, a large number of casualties and people who were injured amongst the indigenous peoples. It also destroyed their natural environment, including by the use of phosphorus bombs. This war, which lasted for 44 days, has not ended yet, uh, as the different uh, genocidal programs which are targeting the indigenous Armenian population in Western Armenia since 1894 have not ended yet. Uh, Artsakh is part of this under international law and the dismantling of Western Armenia since 1921 organized by the uh, armed forces had by the Bolsheviks and Kemalists have not ended. The OSCE has asked for a resumption of negotiation between the different parties, but we should question the conditions for holding such talks, so given that Azerbaijan is continuing its policy of hatred and killings, which are expressed by the following, the non-respect of the territorial integrity of Western Armenia and its violation and the rights of the Armenian people to self-determination. The inauguration on the 12th of April by Mr. Ilham Aliyev of the military trophy park, which is to celebrate its genocidal policy, the gross and degrading representation of uh, wax mannequins of soldiers of Armenians who died during the war is also a violation. The continuous violation of the UN Charter also take place. In this context, I welcome, I appeal to Francisco Kalitsai, the Special Rapporteur on the Rights of Indigenous People, to hold a meeting to address the situation of the massacres of Armenian populations, the occupation of Armenian lands in violation of international law, and matters pertaining to reparations and the question of the status of Western Armenia within the UN. This these violations undermines the civilizing mission of the United Nations unless these events are firmly condemned. When we speak of the rights of indigenous children, we immediately think of the health and the education of children. However, objectively, what uh, is pertinent to the Armenian people is not just the child's right to exist, but also it's the children's physical integrity. Since the beginning of this war, the Armenian children have been victims of uh, the uh, removal of children from their families in order to turn them against their original communities. Uh, they were subjected to forced assimilation and uh, forcibly recruited into the armies. They are the children are called those who escape the sword and by this terminology we see that there is a willingness to continue these genocidal pro programs these are people who have escaped the genocide in this context what do the ch rights of children mean what can we expect of the international community when our rights are systematically violated by other states which are also part of the international community the discriminatory approach to children all the more so indigenous children should end thank you